have this 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 habit now, I think as a society, especially, you know, our Western societies, where we it's it's constantly eating, it's constantly snacking, it's constantly, and what this doesn't if we're if we're constantly taking in and making the gut work, then it doesn't allow for the flushing out of toxins and microbes that are not supposed to be there. So, you know, we have our guts moving all the time. Um, and th this movement, especially when we're not, um, this movement, especially when we're, when, when we, sorry, I'm not speaking well, when there's no food there, pushes out these things that are not supposed to be there. So yes, being empty is a good thing. Um, so yeah, fasting. So it's a great thing. I mean, fasting is historic right? I mean, it's biblical. We've been doing fasting for eternity and I, well, however long it's been, but it's, it is really smart for the people who can do it. It works. Intermittent fasting itself works really well for men. I think it does work well for women, but it can be really hard on the thyroid. So we have lots of women who suffer with thyroid conditions or, or Hashimoto's, which is autoimmune thyroid, and it can be harder on the thyroid. We as women are so tricky because of our hormones and our hormone fluctuations. And then of course the hormones that we deal with in the environment and that kind of thing that if I'm working with someone who wants to do intermittent fasting and if, a woman anyway, I will probably tell her, think about doing it during the week, start it up slowly, maybe do it for a few days. Um, and then maybe, uh, work, eat normally on the weekends. Um, and so, with one of the questions that came up about fasting when it comes to like anti-aging and doing periodic 36 hour full fast where you're just doing water or coffee, if you need your coffee, those are great for cellular repair, uh, for, for, uh, what's called, um, uh, Oh, the word's escaping me, but it's, it's essentially the cells sloughing off the junk that it doesn't need anymore. So 36 hours has been shown to be really beneficial, uh, periodically to, to fast. Um, I want to ask a little bit um, regarding generations. Mm -hmm. You know, you were talking earlier about popping pills, Tums, and when you're taught that as a child, um, along with all of the eating habits, it creates generation after generation of whatever, mm -hmm. uh, same same Z's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until somebody steps in. I'd love for you to talk a little bit about what you've seen and how somebody can step into breaking that cycle. But what I've seen, so first thing first, my word that I forgot was autophagy. So I had to get that out there. <laughs> um, so I can tell a story uh, that I think is is an interesting story. And it, I, I 